Hello, today's devotional can be found in John chapter 3, verse 31. He that cometh from above is above all. Okay, so here's the thing. Christ came from above. He is above all. He is the Son of God, but he went below all things. That he could understand the pains and the infirmities of everyone that he might be able to have an, develop enough empathy and love to buy us out of our pain with his blood and his life. And this he did voluntarily and out of love for our safety and security. And we should not be ashamed to accept what is. The Son of God is above all being the Son of God except for God. But the Son of God descended below all things, became the Son of Man. And because of his loving kindness, he was seen as strange, different. But he came from above and descended below that he might buy us out of the slavery that sin and sorrow and infirmities are that we would not be bound to prison and death and suffering. Sorrow and sin and infirmities really are a bit of a slave's life. We are all enslaved by our sins. We are all enslaved by our sorrows. We are all enslaved by our differences because that's the only thing we tend to focus on if we know it's there. We don't focus on the positive if we are aware of the negative, and we should focus on the positive. But you know how it is, we were already screwed the minute we came to earth because of the transgression of Adam and Eve and the sins of our forefathers, and Christ knew this, and that wasn't fair to him. So he decided, long before the beginning, that he would go and atone for our sins, pay for everything so that we could let it go and so that he owned it so we wouldn't have to carry it so that any pain we felt didn't have to hurt. He would take those hurts for us that we might be able to learn to live with whatever pains come to us and find joy despite them. It's just a matter of whether or not we accept the gift that he has offered us really offered us and it's fully our choice but nothing good can come from hanging on to our pain and our sorrows and the burdens that they create in our lives and with that said I love you all so very much and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ amen